what's going on everybody welcome to episode 10 of our inter career mode here on trophy hunter and today we've got four games for you and some pretty big ones as well we got milan in the copa nazionale quarterfinal a massive one we got to win a trophy <laughs> this year um then we've got udinese in the league milan again this time in the league and then lazio which means udinese will be the team we simulate and the uh so we'll get milan two times in a row very tough and then of course, we have Lazio as well, which would also be tough. We're falling behind in the league, unfortunately. Um, it's going to take a, a bit of a miracle, really, to win. Mainly because while we have been dropping points and things, it's, it's going to be difficult to catch up to... Um, and it's going to be difficult to catch up to Juventus, who, after 22 games, are undefeated. So it's going to be... It's going to be tough. But let's make a couple of changes here. We'll bring Politano in. Kendreva can come onto the bench. Um, Renokia can come onto the bench. And we'll go about it this way. This game is super important. Normally in a cup game, I rotate just a little bit. But this game is very important. So we want it as strong as possible while everyone's fit, really. Or all the fit players we can have in there we should get in there but let's jump into it inter first milan a tough tough game a rival a derby let's go a free kick to milan in a decent spot suso to take clips it in gets to the back post there's no one there oh and he did get it over what in the world this one nil fabio bloody barini with the goal I have to see that finish again. I think he just it went behind him and he just flicked it over with his heel. Is what it looked like. Oh, he kind of... He, it looked like he did still. I have to see it from this angle here. He did. Are you kidding me with that finish? <laughs> That's accidental by the looks of it. The way the computer went to run to it too. It looked like they were just trying to take a touch. That was behind him players do that in midfield when they have touches or when they have balls that go behind them they try and make that touch he looks like he connected with it and then went to run after it but it went into the back of the net an unbelievable finish from fabio barini back inside gonna fall to lukaku and he plays a good ball in here to isaac and isaac's in on goal he's gonna slide it across here tap in for lukaku and his level one one just like that on 23 minutes good football there from the front two connecting very very well and they've bought us back level here it's a great ball from Lukaku onto Isaac and Isaac just takes it into space Lukaku keeps his run up and it's a tap in for him at the back post and we've pulled it back relatively quickly here can we win that header we can Erickson gets it through Politano and he found Lukaku here and Lukaku pulls it back it's Politano oh what a save I tried so hard to get it onto his left foot no idea why he didn't do it that should be a goal but that's that's a massive opportunity. And it's come to him again here. Brozovic. Oh, and it's poked away. <laughs> We're getting close. Rel I mean, really, outside of their one chance that they took on the f set piece, we've been really good. Nicely won there by Brozovic. Takes it away from Kessie. One more here. Can we get it through to Lukaku? We can. And Lukaku can try and slide it into Politano. And Politano can slide it across. He waited for it. We waited for it. Isaac with the tap in at the back post. It's 2 1. We've turned it around here before half time. And on 40 minutes, there is the lead. It's lovely stuff. It's a good ball into Politano. Well, I forgot who played it. It's Lukaku again with another good ball. And then I was going to go for goal. I saw Isaac making the run. And he's got the pace. Got into space. A good ball across and a tap in for the young Swede. And it's 2 1. As well. There's a bit of space here now. Barini's on it. He cuts back outside and he goes for goal. What a save. A great save by Andanovic. As we clear it out for a throw in, that looked like it was destined for the corner. That's a really good save. Nicely done. Rebic. Coming forward, Milan, as they look. For this equalizer. It's clip back pose. Plenty of space. It's into the side netting. An opportunity there for the midfielder. Cannot find the back of the net. 
And it's been a slow, slow second half here. And we'll take slow as long as we don't concede. Kendreva, look at him. A bit older now, but he's still got it about him, doesn't he? As Kendreva goes for goal, forces a save, and it cannot fall to Lataro Martinez. Decent there. I see one. Can we get the touch onto it? We can. And we sneak it away here. And there's a minute to go. All we got to do is hold on to the ball, really. And we are going to get into the semi-final of the Copa Nazionale as the movement here is very nice. It's forward. Latoro Martinez can't quite get there. There's a minute to go. They got to get it up the pitch. But Donnarumma's just holding it, and that should do it. As we are going to move into the semi-final of a tournament we need to win to move on to the next team. And very, very, very good. Good performance, really, especially that first half. Second half is a little bit lighter, but... Not too many chances, but we'll take it. Um, there's some beatable teams here. Juve are still in it. And it looks like the semifinal are going to be Atalanta, Torino, Inter, and Juventus. It's going to be a very, very tough... Well, I really would like to avoid Atalanta and Juventus if we could. <laughs> It'll be very tough to get through either of those. They're very good teams. Atalanta... Um, very difficult to beat last time out. And now, we're getting ready to play Milan again. We're going to have that simulated game there, of course, against Udinese. And then we're going to have Milan again. So, you know, we can get closer to them. But we'll take a look at the table in a minute. It really doesn't make for a good reading. We had a bad spell, didn't we? That bad spell might cost us a chance at the title. Um, as you can see, 5 points back of Milan and 12 points back now of Juventus. That's a gap you feel cannot be overcome. Especially considering after it's 21 games, they haven't... They've dropped 6 points after 21 games. 57. <laughs> they're going to need a very bad second half to the, of, to the season for us to to really get anywhere near where they are. So, you know... It is what it is. We'll have, uh, if we don't get there, of course, we'll have to be back here next year. But we're going to keep trying. We're going to obviously try and win out. But um, it's uh, it's going to be difficult. But for now, we can at least try and win the other tournaments if we cannot win that one. We have uh, the Copa Nazionale, which, of course, we are in the semifinal in now. And then we have the Champions League, which we have Manchester City in. It's going to be very, very tough. Um, but we'll see if we can go ahead and get it done. Pogba off to Real Madrid, as you can see, in the £70 million deal. He's probably off in the summer in real life, I would think, if I had to guess. He just doesn't He doesn't look like he ever wants to be there, it seems. But, you know, some players are like that. You can get unhappy in a place that's no one's fault. It just is what it is. So let's get into the Sudanese game and get this simmed. We can use the first team, which is good. Um... Our youth squad report, 78 to 94, he looks rather good, 76 to 94 as well, and 71 to 85, we're going to go ahead and get rid of him because he's fading away a little bit, and uh, we can get rid of these as well. So let's sim this game here, hopefully we can grab a win, it's away from home, but we can use the first team for this, let's see if we can grab some points here. A 4-0 victory. 3 for Christian Eriksen, 1 for Lukaku. As we go ahead and grab a win there. Let's see if anyone else dropped points. Um, after we do our training here. Esposito coming along rather nicely. We haven't used him a ton this year, but he's a good player to have around. Okay, so here we are still in 5th. We're level with Lazio and Roma. Um... I guess it comes down to head-to-head, because -head, so we have the better goal difference, and Lazio have a better goal difference than Roma, so I guess it comes down to head-to-head. -to -head. Um, it's still 12 points. Juve did win their last game. 2-0 um, over Fiorentina. They're away to Verona this time. We just got to keep on winning and hope they drop points. That's just how it has to be. But let's jump into the second Milan game. We can move within two points of them, and... Obviously, the idea is to not move further away. And as you can see, 
our semi-final game has just appeared. So we're not going to get Lazio done today. We're going to get Milan a second time and then Juventus in the semi-final leg one. I guess it is two legs. Oh, look at that. We have Juventus three times in the in the next couple of episodes here. Look at this. All right, so we have Milan, Juve, Lazio, and then Sampdoria, City, Juve, Juve, and then Sassuolo, Parma, and then City again. God, that is going to be one heck of a set of games there. That is one really tough stretch. But we started off with a win over Milan. If we can go forward, see if we can get another win over Milan here. Um, I might... I might actually rotate a little bit, mainly to um, get a get some rotation in because we want to win that trophy. That one seems more realistic at the moment. So if we can go ahead and win that, that'll be ideal. So we'll make a couple of changes, have some first team players ready for the first leg of that cup game. But let's jump into it. Serie A this time, Inter and Milan. Let's go. Barella. Nice ball out there to Isaac, who takes it past his man here, and he's quicker than Musashio. And he's running into the box here. Isaac, can he finish? Oh, it's a decent save there. I was hoping that gap was going to open up and I can play it back post. It didn't. And then we forced a decent save there out of the goalkeeper. Lataro Martinez turns nicely. And Lataro Martinez, can he get something going here? He turns and goes for goal. It's a great finish. And Lataro Martinez gives us a lead inside 10 minutes. And Milan once again trailing. This time though early on. And we score first. This 1-0. It's a good finish from Lataro Martinez there. We could have scored the first time. Made sure we did the second time as he cuts back inside. Waits for his moment and smashes it near post. Goalkeeper can't get to it. Should be getting to it fair, to be fair. But an early lead. 1-0. Slips inside. Here's Isaac. Isaac rushing forward here. He's got such big f steps there. And he hits it there. And it's a great finish from Atal who kept his run up. Brilliant. He just <laughs> I was in awe of how Isaac moves, man. His legs are so he's almost glides sometimes. And he went into space there. Cut it back who, to Atal who's made a run. No one's tracked him. Donnarumma just gets a touch onto the hit, but it's how it's too too much pace, too much power. And it hits off his hand into the back of the net. It's out with the goal, and on 21 minutes, it's 2-0. Oh, it's a poor header out. It's come to him. Wow, what a save. What a hit. A great save from Mandanovic equal to the hit. I believe that's by Suso. It's a poor clearance. Falls right back. To him after the pass, and he has just smashed that toward goal in the volley. Good save. Played forward now. Can we get it through to Isaac? We can. And Isaac, can he get behind his man? He does get it back inside. It's Asamoa! It's in the back of the net. It's 3 0 before half time. And Milan fading away here early. Really? I mean, half time is pretty early, I guess. 3 0 to be fading away is early it's a lovely ball back to him another really good run from our wing backs who love to get into space and it's a great finish from Asamoah on his right foot just curls it around Donnarumma who can't get a hand on to it and it looks like we're going to head into halftime 3-0 up can we get there not quite it's going to come their way it's one or it's not one nil it's three one one nil in the second half I guess and Harry Winks I believe very strange signing here at Milan. He goes ahead and gives them a way back into it. It's 3-1. And they're back. It's good. We got a touch onto it there. It gets unlucky. Falls to Cassie, who plays it into Winks. And he's finished beyond Handanovic nicely. And with a half hour or so to go, 25 minutes maybe, it's 3-1. Nicely done. Martinez on it. And Martinez can slip it in here. We can. Lovely football. It's on to Isaac. Isaac can finish this. He's finished it there. It's 4-1. And that should do it here in the Derby. It's just going to be two wins from two. One in the Copa. And one in Serie A. It's a lovely finish from him. It's a good ball as well. Timed the run perfectly. And a very, very 
very calm finish from the young man. It's 4-1 here. Vecino, lovely stuff. A couple of 1-2s here. Vecino's on it. Can he play it through to Lataro Martinez? He can. And Lataro plays it back post. It's Isaac. Great finish. And a lovely, lovely move as we pour salt into Milan wounds. It's 5-1 here over our rivals. And this is some move here. A lovely ball out there. A great first time ball back across goal. And it's a lovely finish to the opposite side from the young man here. Look at that. Excellent, excellent technique from him. Just, well, I mean, he had to tap it in, but he also had to get it to the other side of goal. It's a lovely finish. I'm not sure if that's his third or not. It's at minimum his second. And it's a fifth for Inter. Nicely won there. And with a minute to go, it's a lovely win here. A really, really good win. After beating them 2-1 last time out, a 5-1 this time round. And it looks like we're back on a little bit of form. And just in time for the Juventus game, the semi-final against, or against Juventus in the Copa Nazionale leg one. This is big. This is big. Very big. And it's unfortunate that we got them in the semi-final, the only round with two legs. Um, but we're ready. And this is as ready as we're ever going to be. And we're going to have to jump in here and hopefully grab a win. We got away with resting Ericsson. Um, let's see. He's been playing. Um, we got away with resting a couple players. Ericsson very much included in that. And hopefully it pays off. We're away from home. I'm not sure how this works, if it's away goals or not. Obviously, we'd like to win the game outright. But if it is on away goals, at least let's see if we can get something in that regard. So we're going to get Baragi on the pitch, Lazaro, and I think everyone else is good to go. So let's jump into it. Juventus Inter Copa Nazionale semi final leg one. Let's go. I do hold on to it here. And here they come. That's a lovely clip ball out there. Ronaldo's going to get onto it. He's on side, tries to get it across, and really good goalkeeping early on. Plays it out wide nicely. And touch inside. Lataro Martinez here. Lukaku making the run. And Lukaku's in on goal here early on. And Lukaku. Can he finish? He can. He certainly can. And inside six minutes. We've grabbed an away goal here. It's 1-0 and an early, early lead. It, you know, they started pretty well, Juventus here. But we get in behind. And that's a clinical finish from the big man up front. Lukaku with a great goal. Look at this. this is a good finish. He's just smashed it right into the side netting there. Can't place it any better than that. A lovely finish. And an early 1-0 lead here. Nicely done here. It's good football here from Juventus. He's tried to play that across. I've played it back to him. It's one. Oh, what have we done there? Giving it right to Ronaldo. That is just poor judgment on my end. Honestly, he plays that through, and I'm inexplicably tried to pass that out. I don't know what I'm thinking. No idea. It's stupid on my end. And we've thrown away our good start just like that. A moment of madness. Nicely done here. Samedo rushing up this wing here, and that's a great hit. Oh, that would have been some goal by Dybala there. As that gets clipped in by Samedo and he jumps up here. <laughs> that would have been some finish. That would have been some finish from Paolo Dybala there, but can't quite get it on target. Good football here. Let's clip back post. Uh, oof, Jesus, almost done it again. Oh, we have. Oof, my God. How are we. What are we doing? Trying to mess everything up. It's 2 1 Juventus. Twice. Twice we've given them goals. They'd lead 2-1. A goal again for Ronaldo. That time we tried to clear it and it just got blocked. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Unbelievable. This one, yeah, we just tried to clear it. It got blocked. It came back out. They outnumbered us there. Too much space for Ronaldo. He smashes it home. And on 40 minutes, it's 2-1 to Juventus. We're having trouble going forward as well. After that early goal, we've had nothing really. 
Ericsson gets it forward. Nicely done. Lukaku, can he turn and play a mini can? Ericsson! <gasps> He's dragged it! Oh, no, 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 Christian! No! Oh, no way! He's... Oh, he's been finishing so well all year. He's dragged that shot. You've got to be kidding me. Nicely played. Back to Lukaku here. Lukaku, can he play it in? He can. Is Barella. He's finished it, though. And just like that, it's 2-2. A couple times in a row we've been in there. And we've leveled it up here. Barella with the goal. The midfielder there. Pulling us back level. It's good football. And there's just... It's Lukaku just holding it up. Nobody's going near him. It's Delit, who's just watching Lukaku dance with the ball, really. No real pressure. And he just waits for the run. It finally comes. And Barella finishes. Makes no mistake. And we've leveled it up here on, at 2-2 on 57 minutes. Here's Lukaku. Can clip it forward. Latar Martinez has taken that away from DeLitt. And can we take the lead here? It's Latar Martinez. He's hit the post. Oh, we've had such a brilliant 10 or 15 minutes here. That could have been the lead. And he's just smashed the post. DeLitt at fault again, surely. Can we get that? We can. It's nicely taken away. Erickson on it here. And we've got men coming forward. Erickson, of course, being one of them. Waiting for Lukaku to make the run. He slips it into him. And can he slip it back? He can. And the Dane cannot finish. It's a great save in goal by Chesney there. That's just a really good save that time. Made himself big. Just could not beat him. But we're really carving out opportunities now. We could, Theoretically, we could really be ahead. All right, we've got a free kick here. Lukaku to take. Can he put it in this corner? Lukaku! Oh, he smashed the bar! Oh, man. We've hit the woodwork twice now. We just cannot find that third goal, which really, the last half hour, we deserve it. Can we slip that through again? Oh, we get a little bit unlucky. He gets stuck on his man. But Juventus very much on the back foot. Two minutes to go. Really, a goal for Juventus here would be devastating because we've been so good in the second half. He's on side. Semedo clips it in. It's headed away nicely. Can we get to that? No, it's going to go out of play. And there's a minute to go. We'll take 2-2, though. We really, really could have won it here. Although we've, he's given it away. Lukaku's on it. Wow. Oh, not how I wanted that to go, but we do come away with a 2-2 here, which will definitely take, as we said, just that second half there. We really could have grabbed a goal or two more and gone into the second leg with a lead. Um, I'm not sure if it's on away goals, but, you know, we'll take that performance. Not too, too bad. A 2-2 result. We're going to have to come home and beat them, of course, or avoid losing at least. And, uh, you know, let's put us in a decent position. A decent position to get to the final against, uh, there are two teams on the other side, theoretically, that are beatable. So if we can get by Juventus, we'll feel really good about that final. Um, please tell me my game hasn't froze. Please tell me my game hasn't froze. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, if this freezes, I'm going to be beyond aggravated. Okay, everyone, I am stuck at this screen again, but um, we got our three games through, which is uh, okay. So we, <laughs> we actually got all the way through the video and just can't do the outro and show you what um, what games will be next episode. Um, I do know what they are, though, so it's okay. So we have City, Juventus in the league, and then City, and then we have Lazio, and we have Sampdoria. So those are the four games. We're going to sim Sampdoria and play the others. And hopefully we can catch up in the league. We do have Juventus in the league. So we have to beat them if we have any real shot. And then we have the 2-2. Two -two. I'm just going to make sure it's 2-2. Two -two. I'm not sure if the other result will stay the same. But the result we get into will be 2-2 two -two after the first leg. Don't you worry about that, guys. But um, that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.